Hello. Um, I can't stop long, so I'm going to text my friend Greg. So Greg, you're going to get a text in about three minutes. No, 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 no. let's make that eight minutes because it will take me a few minutes to do the text first. Anyway, today I was thinking about um, making things more interesting for people on YouTube. Now, this will be more interesting, I think, for people who are who like to read and things like that. Um, well, basically, I've written the first page of a book, um, and I'm going to read it on here, and then new people on YouTube can add to it. Um, because it should be quite fun, you know, quite funny, and things like that. So I've not even come up with a title of the book either, because YouTube can decide that as well. So anyway, this is the first chapter, uh, the first page. My eyes were open as I lay, staring up at the ceiling. Darren, Jonathan and Matthew, my three brothers, slept soundly on and I listened to their breathing. The curtains were open and light from the moon came through, casting a dim light over the garden. I turned my head slightly, wanting to get a better view when something popped up in front of the glass. I jumped as the unexpected thing stared at me. It was the face, the face of a boy looking around about four. He stared at me and me at him, both of us seeming to wonder if each other were real. But then he pointed to his left, jerking his head slightly. I didn't move or speak, however, but continued to stare, taking no notice of his pointing. Finally, summoning enough courage, I removed the duvet slowly from my body, crept out, not taking my eyes off that little face. What's the matter? I whispered. He didn't move or speak, but the pointing continued. Hide? I asked. I shake the head, gave the answer. Get out, I tried. This time he nodded. I remember not asking any other questions. The three boys, all younger than me, were my priority. Devon, Jonathan, Matthew. I hissed, bending down to wake each one. What? Jonathan mumbled as he rose, yawning. We need to get out of here, now. Why? Devon asked, sitting up. I don't know, but we do. Now move. Looking confused, the pair scrambled out of bed, not even touching any of their clothes. Matthew still wasn't awake and I knew he was probably in too much of a deep sleep, so I picked him up, as there was no time to spare. At the door, however, I did turn for just a second to see if the little boy was still at the window. He was, and this confirmed I was not dreaming. The other two were waiting in the hallway, and I pointed towards the kitchen. Jonathan led the way, and we followed. Who was that? he called a moment after, later just as we were about to enter. The next sight was so heartwarming that had it not been such a tense situation it would have been funny. The little boy was now standing at the back door, his little hands upon the glass, peering at us. 
I decided not to answer my brother's question, however, and proceeded to the back door, allowing the others to pass through first. As I passed the defenceless trap, however, I had a sudden urge to pick him up and carry him away from harm. Although I had no idea what a me to have these sudden negative thoughts. All the same, I did pick him up and began to follow the other three to the gate, but one must have unbolted somehow, as they were both standing on the driveway. I joined them, shutting the gate slowly before moving past the front door. But just as we began to make our way towards the pavement, Adjoining the drive, a voice shouted, Stand still, I'll shoot you all, and that little brat too. That was when we began to run. Okay, that's the first page. Now, I would love you, you lot to um, add to it. And you know, all you have to do is a video response, or even if you don't know how to do video responses, or if you haven't got a webcam or camera, just leave it in comments. But make sure you see the video responses first. Um, for but it, it should be really fun anyway you know it, it's just a bit of fun and it'll be good to see what you all come up with um so yeah greg you'll be getting your text soon enough after i have um written it so hopefully you will text me back um hopefully so in a while. YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.